The U.S. is launching a series of sanctions against Chinese technology companies. Recently, President Trump announced an order demanding ByteDance divest all assets used to support the operation of TikTok in the U.S. and destroy all data obtained and derived from TikTok users in the U.S. within 90 days. On August 14th, U.S. President Trump announced the latest executive order regarding TikTok. President Trump emphasized that credible evidence shows that the parent company of TikTok, ByteDance Limited, threatens to impair the national security of the United States. The executive order states that any transaction resulting in the acquisition by ByteDance of Musically and the ownership by ByteDance of any interest in Musically in the U.S., whether affected directly or indirectly through ByteDance, are prohibited. Sanctioning TikTok across the board and divesting and separating TikTok from ByteDance Ltd will become a model for Trump administration to follow when dealing with Chinese companies with similar criminal actions in the future. This will be able to completely wipe out, discard, and stop the CCP's control over TikTok. In other words, it is possible for TikTok to continue its existence as a normal business company in the future, but it will no longer threaten the national security of the U.S. Also, TikTok will not be used by the CCP as a platform for brainwashing and unilateral propaganda against the American users. In November 2017, ByteDance Limited acquired Musically, a platform for creating and sharing short lip sync videos for one billion U.S. dollars. After integration, TikTok was launched in the U.S. Since the end of 2019 and early this year, the CCP covered up the Wuhan pneumonia epidemic that later became a global pandemic. Many countries, including the United States, are calling out the CCP to be responsible for the pandemic. And this has isolated the CCP on one side. In terms of technology, more and more countries are abandoning Huawei 5G for national security reasons. In late June, India even further banned 59 Chinese applications, including TikTok and WeChat. On August 6th, President Trump signed executive orders banning any U.S. individual and entity from making transactions with ByteDance Limited and Tencent Holdings Limited after 45 days. The executive order stated that WeChat and TikTok obtain private personal information to censor content, monitor, and propagate and spread disinformation on behalf of the CCP. Without a doubt, a Chinese company must be an accomplice and an evil doer as long as it has ties with the Chinese Communist Party. The CCP-controlled companies use big data collected from the U.S. to study artificial intelligence, thereby posing a great threat to U.S. national security. Jin further indicated that through big data, the CCP is capable of not only stealing confidential information but also influencing U.S. elections and controlling critical infrastructure like the electricity grid. Therefore, the White House must shut down these Chinese technology companies. Most of these videos are made in mainland China to praise the CCP or to deliver ideology that favors the CCP. Moreover, WeChat has many vulgar and indecent content, and together with TikTok, they are a type of drug. The definition of this drug is that you get addicted to it, and it controls your emotions and actions. This is what drugs do. So I think it is good to ban them. Tian Yuan also mentioned that although this move done by the Trump administration will create a short-term inconvenience to some Asian Americans, it is beneficial not only to U.S. national security but also in cutting off the CCP's brainwashing and control over Chinese Americans. If you value your privacy and freedom a little bit, then you should never use any application developed by the CCP. Because not only do they use these to brainwash you, but also monitor you through these apps. The Epic Times reported that President Trump's executive order demonstrates the determination and the willingness of the White House to remove Beijing's control of TikTok in the United States. If ByteDance Limited is unable to divest within the deadline, the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States has the power to execute the order.